We were looking for an affordable cruising motorhome for several months until we found a 42 catch rig Norman Cross Trimer on the Facebook Marketplace. Based on a video call with the owners and a survey report, we didn't take much time to decide it was the right boat for us. So we wanted to explain a bit how we found ourselves on this uh, particular boat. Before I had the Warranty Key 26. Yeah, it was too small. We really wanted to have a multi-hull again because I think we both appreciated multi-hulls for stability, I think first, second, safety, but also a bit of performance in it. The low draft is really cool. So we set out our search for multi-hull, <laughs> which was not only easy, right? No, I think the the difficulty with multi hull is that the budget is really high. Um, so when we would look for a boat in like yacht world, we would put that we would like a multi hull and under a hundred thousand, and there would be like two boats. While for mono hulls there were maybe like seventy. Um, so it's not like we had a whole bunch of options out there. But we were quite flexible. We said everywhere in the world the boat is. We're gonna go there. And we found this advertisement, which looked sketchy in the beginning. As we said, it was just on <laughs> Facebook Marketplace. Yeah. We saw the pictures, and I immediately said, I, "It's it looks much too good for for this price." But luckily, Bruno insisted on um, like calling, and then later we even had the video call. And the more we got into this this whole process of looking at this boat, we said, "Actually, it's." everything we wanted it's much bigger it's 42 feet we didn't actually needed that or wanted that but i think it gives us the great option to have friends over to have uh, family yeah. over it was really funny the buying process because we only look at the boat online we bought the boat effectively um in december and we only flew here in the end of february now um so it was really nerve-wracking because we didn't really see the boat before and we didn't know what to exactly to expect but um i think we were positively surprised we, we came ready like <coughs> maybe the boat will not be exactly what we thought maybe there will be some unpleasant surprises but i think um only the toilet we had to change it it was not a good surprise but otherwise the boat was really succeeded all our expectations by far and also little things like things we didn't expect to be there and that were here I think we have to say a huge thank you to you, Tim, the previous owner of this boat. He took Angel. incredibly good care of the boat. Yeah. Oh, this boat in general, it's 40 years old. It was built really well. Um, and this may be also a bit of a reason why we like this kind of multi house so much. Also a bit like Waram, it was built with a really uh, with a background of safety first, let's say. Not like modern multi house where all these features together made us going to go for that boat. Yeah. I think um, I'm quite confident that it was a good choice. A bit our plans, um, we don't know for sure what we want to do, but what we know is that we will be living in the boat for at least a year, maybe two, maybe three. Well, what we knew basically, or how we started is we knew it's California, boat is in California. We knew it's March, that's the first uh, moment we could take time to go. Yeah. So we made a plan basically March, um, California, where to go, we decided to go south. Yeah. And you, <laughs> Nick is installing the solar panels. Yes. Okay. You, you definitely you drain the system. Right? Like I used to drain the door, I just sit down. Island in the south. So the name of our boat is Mingdale which is where we met, in Cabo Verde. After two weeks of preparing the boat for our needs, such as installing solar power and the water maker, we started heading south. Wow, 
first night on a sailboat that everything is covered or the cockpit is covered we are somewhere close to san diego <laughs> San Diego behind us, mission sail up, main sail up and even more important for the first time spinnaker up, straight to Ensenada with some waves. Nikki on the pole. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. The border to Mexico. Here we are, just crossed. And how's the mood of the crew? Yay! We want tropical <laughs> weather! Tacos. <laughs> Let's go dolphins! It's Mayo! Always remember to smile dolphins! I want to see the way of shaking more! <laughs> Hey, Trabaladora! We're gonna make this half care nice. A short pit stop in Ensenada gave us the time to redo the aft cabin and test our sound system. Showing Mindelo's first ride. As the boys sleep and I'm a bit bored, I'm gonna try to film myself with the dolphins or record me falling in the ocean. Hopefully, not this ocean. Look at them! Ah. Just following the boat. <laughs> Like for me as a vegetarian, I would eat the hot dog without the sausage. Drink what is left of a hot dog without the sausage? Well, there is a lot of things. You can put eggs, you can put potatoes, you can put corn. A lot of uh, cleaning and organizing before we set sail.
How do you feel? Well, <laughs> a bit sissy. But it's okay. I'm good. Thank you. Midelo on the other hand is feeling great, sailing down Bach. It's um, six now. Seven knots. And who's feeling best is this man because finally he's Why doing he what he is designed to do. Oh catching no fish. <laughs> Double reefed mason. Tick. Fully out Genoa. We took the spinnaker out so it would be the boat will move a bit slower and we can get the fish. Wasn't today that we had fish, but well done, fisherman. I think now we should become big on YouTube. What did you see? A beautiful whale. And it was big. So I'm curious to learn what are we doing here? Shit. Shit? No. We are saying <laughs> against the wind and the waves are but you look happy still and beautiful. Yeah. How do you do that? I was born this way. So let's go out and check these conditions with Nikki, who is at the Genoa watch. Mm -hmm. What do we do? You see? Oh, you have a nice thing. Close to the wind, just did attack, and saw this wonderful angle of um, sailing. We are doing around six knots against 14 knots of apparent wind speed. Boat is super balanced. And we are doing nearly five knots. Let's say four now against the wind. Crazy colors, even crazier <laughs> colors. Someone killed the sky. After sailing more than a thousand nautical miles from Los Angeles to the Sea of Cortez, we made the La Paz region home for almost three weeks. 
full of sea life with gray and humpback whales, flying rays, whale sharks, and many more species, we fell in love with this area. But all of that in the next video. Wow! This is my pickup. Our search for multi hull and this one not only simple. What's funny about it? <laughs> Something happened. You are so serious. You're never that serious. It's impossible to make group work with you. <laughs> He's talking very serious. Continue. <laughs> Sorry, is <laughs> this Nicholas is new to me? <laughs> Good to make videos. Huh? <laughs> <coughs> so setting up.